Hello everyone, this is Sue Broom, and I'm here to do the weekly angel card reading for the week of October 28th through November 3rd of 2019. I'm using my two decks of cards. The first one, The Desert Speaks, and I pull a card from this deck to kind of anchor the week. And the other three cards I pull are from Angels Are Everywhere. And these two decks have been working so well together. They each accommodate the other as well as accentuate. So I'm shuffling the Desert Speaks. And as I do this, a couple things that you can do is you can hold your hand on your heart if you want or just hold the intention that the perfect card come out for everyone, no matter when they are seeing this. And I also like to add that it speaks to their very soul. And there it is. You can also hear the chimes going off. I do have all the blinds open, so it's super sunny, so they're going to be going off quite a bit. Even though the solar panel is on the back side, they still pick up the wonderful energy of the sun. So now I am shuffling the Angels Are Everywhere deck, and this deck, here again, continue holding the intention that the perfect cards are coming up no matter when you're seeing this. And there's the first one. I want to say that's the second one, even though they were really close together, so that's pretty, pretty interesting. And there's the third one. All right. So I do not know what the cards are. I am holding the intention right along with you that the perfect cards are coming up for everyone, no matter when you're seeing this. So if you're seeing this live or if you're seeing this on replay, doesn't matter when you're seeing this. Just allow the cards, the energy, the words that come through, allow it to speak to your soul. So let's see what we have. Okay, so let's see what the cards are for the week. And remember, I, am, I have the Desert Speaks as the anchoring card and then three cards from the Angels Are Everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the exact same picture that is on the back of the card. And whenever I see this, it actually, to me, it strengthens whatever this card is so this card is saying stand tall and this is and i'm getting chills on this so this is really standing in your power this is you know when we stand in our power it doesn't mean that we have to run people over it's just what are we believing in and do we need to go through and even reevaluate what our beliefs are I mean, right now we are, we're in the shadow of Mercury retrograde. It goes retro on Halloween. I can't remember what planet it's going in retro with, but what it really is a time for is for us to reevaluate a lot of things. And that may very well be reevaluating what our beliefs are, which our beliefs are good to go through on a regular basis anyway. So stand tall for what your beliefs are. Stand up for who you are. Stand up for, you know, if you have a question to ask, if you have something to interject to somebody, if you're in a group of people, stand up. Ask the question. Have a voice. Find your voice. And the thing that I've always loved about this card, so this is, this is absolutely the sun shining through the top, but then we have this spot right here, that's like a hole in the saguaro. And this, of course, is the way that the sunlight is coming. And who knows how it does this, but it looks like a heart to me. So stand tall. So this is our anchoring card for the week. So let's see what else we got. <clears throat> so this is how the angels are coming in and saying, yes, this is how we do it, or this is some ideas on how we do it. Showing our gratitude. How perfect is this? Absolutely, because, again, it helps strengthen what it is that we are standing tall for. Because when we show gratitude, when we feel the appreciation that we have for different things, what does that help? 
it helps bring more of those things into our life. So even keep in mind our words are very important. So as we're saying things, even this is, you know, sarcasm is really so low a vibration. If we say thank you in a sarcastic way, keep that in mind and feel that energy. It doesn't feel good. So show the gratitude, feel the gratitude, and have it come from your heart as you are showing your appreciation for whatever whatever it is. And sometimes, you know, when we have stuff coming up in our lives, sometimes it's difficult for us to show the gratitude right in the moment. So we can always ask the angels to put a blanket of love around us, around whatever the situation is. And then there are things that will start presenting what it is that we can be grateful for. I guarantee you it's something. Next one we have is call upon us. So calling, see what did I just say? Call upon the angels. If we are not feeling the gratitude, I had a situation this week, I was not feeling the gratitude in the moment. And as I vented just a little bit, then I started to see what it was that, okay, this is why, this is why this is coming up. It's helping me hone a few things, so which is always good. And then the third card, be true to yourself. And how perfect. So we have these three cards, these three support from the angels, helping us with standing tall. And isn't standing tall and being true to ourselves, don't those go hand in hand? And don't we want the angels to be there to support us? And I have these out of order, but you guys know. And showing our gratitude. So it is going to be a fabulous week, everyone. And I can't wait to see what unfolds this week. We have Halloween. I always love Halloween. <clears throat> so we shall see. So I would love to hear your comments. If you're watching this on YouTube or afterwards, Make sure and put your comments in the, in the area below. I'd love to hear how it unfolds for you. Angel blessings to you. Thank you so much for watching. And I encourage you to check out my website, souproom.com, to see what services I offer. I have readings that I will do, and absolutely I will use cards, not always just mine, but I have a lot of different decks of cards that I use. I also allow the angels and your guides to come through the reading so they come through as they are meant to come through for you at that particular time. And I also do energy work. These can be done through the phone, on Skype, or if you prefer a distance healing where we just set up a time when I go in and do the healing and then I follow up with an email afterwards. That's entirely up to you. Those are all available on my website, as well as the different products that I offer I have been doing so many fun journals. You can see this one right here. That's a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. I have over a hundred journals that are available on Amazon and you can find the link in the description and it is under a pen name, Spread Sunshine. But I have the author page that you can click right on and check out all of the different journals because there are, as I said, over a hundred. So angel blessings to you. Make sure and click the like button, click the subscribe button, and click that little bell so you will get notified every time there is a new video. Thank you so much.